Alright, what's up guys? Today we have a collaboration video. That means of course Supreme released a little email on Monday, updated their new section that they're going to be doing a collaboration. For everyone that's new, that's usually how you find out there's a collaboration on Monday of that week. If there is a collab, they will update their news section, they will send you an email, and that's what they did. Of course, this is the Mike Kelly Supreme collaboration. I didn't know who Mike Kelly was before this. He's an artist from Detroit, it says. He moved to LA. From the looks of it, he does a lot of like, kind of like, um, what's it like, the crocheting kind of stuff, or like plushed animals, it looks like. Um, but there are some other pieces in there too that aren't like that, but. First off, we're just gonna go through the whole collabs, how these collab videos work. I'm just gonna show you what I'm looking at right here on the screen. I'm just gonna click through the photos, show you guys the collab, and give you like my thoughts and opinions on them. And then after this, we'll get into the you know um, the release for this week, which is just rumored stuff, but usually it's pretty accurate with these guys. Like we'll update. I, I get it off SupremeCommunity.com. I just go off whatever they have. So we'll get into the drop after the collab. This stuff will drop together. So let's just get right into the Mike Kelly collab. All right, first up, this is just the first page, 31 pages. Um, we got Genesis right here in a um, little like, stuffed animal looking jacket. Let's go to the, start it up and go to the next one. All right, same picture. Okay, here he is with the, the back, I guess, is different than the front. This one has a little bit like a pink looking teddy bear. You know, first off, this stuff just looks crazy to me. Like, it looks like, same thing with this work work shirt. Like, it looks crazy. It looks like serial killer crazy. I have no idea what kind of hell I can bring you! Oh, all right, enough, you broken record. Like, next up, okay, we got uh, Aiden in the, looks like a little, Long sleeve work shirt with another kind of like, you know, plush animal thing on the back. That one's a little bit more cool, decent, you know, just one photo on the back. Genesis again. Okay, it looks like we got something a little bit different than like the plush animal stuff. It looks like kind of someone signed like the Constitution maybe. And the guy drew a dick on, on him. Maybe George Washington or something like that. It's kind of hard to see. But yeah, it looks like he just kind of drew a dick on the guy. I mean, that's, you know, it's just like, that shit's not for me. It just looks too like kiddish and... Weird sense, when sense, like that's not my sense of humor. I feel like that's like corny shit. Um, yeah, this is like the worst piece I've ever seen in Supreme's history. To go you ain't got the answers, man. Uh, we got Aiden right, Aiden right here with this serial killer hoodie on. I would just, I don't even know if someone could pay me enough to wear this in public. Genesis, okay. Um, Empire State Building, and then the guy made it into a dick. Like I said, I feel like it's like childish humor. I don't really get it. I think it would have been cool without the the dick part of it. Okay, this is probably the first thing I've seen that actually is cool. Um, this looks like it's Mike Kelly, and then that whole famous kind of um, pictures of like all like the stuffed animals that they did on the decks and stuff. This is just like one of the t-shirts. This one's on the back. Cool green color too. All right, and now we're getting into the actual pieces. All right, this is the jacket we saw. Was it on a Genesis? Yeah, Genesis. Um, this is crazy to me. Plush animal on the front. I don't even know what that is. One eye bigger than the other one. On the back, it's a little demented looking pink bunny or something like that. Kind of kind of reminds me of the Breaking Bad little plush animal. Uh, okay, next up, ah, uh, youth, work jacket. That's what it's called. I mean, not for me. It's crazy. I could see some punk rockers wearing this shit or something like that, but a normal person, you're gonna look crazy. Um, okay, this this thing's insane too. Like, I mean, this is like, these are like one of the worst pieces. It's, it's like a collage of a photo and he's putting on a work jacket, work shirt, which is already like, kind of like stupid. And the, and the subject matter is just fucking a bunch of little stitched serial killer dolls. Like, um, more love hours than more love hours than can ever be repaid. That's what it's called. Front and back, crazy. Not in a good way. Mike Kelly Supreme. Okay, uh, youth work shirt. Simple work shirt in the front. Looks cool on the back. Like that's that piece doesn't. I think I think that's a cool piece. Like you know, different little artistic kind of subject matter. Cool, simple. Work shirt. I'm, I think that one's cool. If you like it, you know, it's gonna be like hundred and probably like 40 or something Worst hoodie Supreme has ever released right here in my opinion more love hours than can ever be repaid that same collage of all his um Stuffed animals and it's just crazy. Like that's a crazy come on Next up. Okay. Some of the different kind of like drawings and stuff Mike Kelly. Okay Franklin signed the Treaty of Alliance with French officials. Okay. I wasn't even close yeah, um, he just drew, just like that image, and then he drew a dick on, it looks like Franklin, Benjamin Franklin. Got a bunch of cool colors, I like these colors though. That, um, the gentle looking color is cool, that green I like, 
Got a little light tan. Yeah, some cool colors though in the hoodies. Crew neck, that's pretty cool crew neck. I like it. I like that just like the four pictures. It's not like a collage or anything. I think that I think that's a cool one just to get something from the collection and it's an artist piece, so that's always cool. I like that color too, that dark green on the back. It's a cool piece if you need a crew neck like that. Um, I like that it's on the back too. Next up, we got all the colors again. They're going with the same color scheme. I think those are cool. Uh, youth, long sleeve shirt, supreme down the sides. You got this little uh, stuffed animal in the middle, big photo tee almost on the back. Oh, it's just, nothing's on the back, it just says Mike Kelly on the back, it looks like. Cool colors again, I like all the colors, different kind of colors. Long sleeve. Okay, short sleeve tees we're getting into, so this just looks like it was like the crew neck, but it's on a t-shirt. I think that's pretty cool. I like that it's simple, just little portraits, and they're on the four and four on the front and back. That's cool, I might get that, I don't know. I don't know. Then all the cool, I, I kind of want it just because I like that green colorway they have. I like that dark green kind of colorway. So I might get it for that. I also like that burgundy colorway too. So I might get either of those because I like the colorways. Good job, Supreme. Congratulations. Next up, we got the Empire State Building tee where he just made it into like a dick. Not a fan of that, even though I like the photo though. Same colors as the other t-shirts. Next up, Hiding from Indians tee. Um, can we zoom in on that a little bit? We can zoom in a little bit. It's hard to see. It looks like they're... It's like a woman and a little kid hiding and it says let's fuck or something. Like it looks like some old 1700s kind of thing. Um, not not feeling that. Like that's not like my type of humor and I don't want to wear shit like that on a shirt. You look like a weirdo to me. And all the same colors again. Cool colors though at least. Okay here's what everyone's freaking out about. Because honestly the collab is, is pretty weak how they executed it. And it's a little weird. So of course everyone's going to go for the decks. They're simple. And the t-shirt has these photos, the crew neck has these photos, so I feel like anything with just these photos is gonna go quick. I would say the crew neck, the t-shirt, and these decks are gonna go, you know, pretty quick. Um, there's eight of them. It's based off his Ah Youth collection, or work. One, two, three, four, yeah. Um, white dipped, which is always nice. You got the Pettibone white dipped ones, and I think those are only all white dipped ones. Urs Fisher, I think, are all white dipped. And the Dash Snow are all white dipped. All white dip just looks real classy. I like it a lot, especially for artist stuff. These are cool, you know, like I, I like these little pieces from art. You know, I think this was, I think it's just cool. You know, it's nothing weird, it's nothing crazy. It's like all over print. It's just like a simple, it looks like, you know, like a fancy art piece, just this little portrait. I mean, they look all together, they would look really cool, but that's a lot of boards to put on the wall of something that's like not, you have a passion for. I can see if someone's a fan of him, and they're like, I need all eight boards. I get that, you know? Um, but for me, like, I'm not, like, a fan of him. I really don't know a lot about him. So to get, like, all eight, I feel like that takes up a lot of wall space. That's a lot more money. I mean, if they're, like, I heard they're $88 retail. So 88 times, we'll do 90 times four. Was that nine, nine times? Oh, nine times four. What am I doing? No, 90 times eight. That's $722. That's crazy for eight boards that you really don't care about. I'm sure they'll resell for like 1500 at least, but I'm not gonna do that. I wanna get two. If hopefully they're separate, there's rumors that it's a set, which is crazy. Supreme, don't do that to me. I like the Mike Kelly portrait one, just because, you know, that's the artist. I think that'd be a cool one to get put side by side with the, the plush animals. And I also like the Winnie the Pooh one. And I like this one that looks like it's just kind of like a mummy right next to Mike Kelly. Right here, I like those. I like those three. Even the pink one, it, it kind of reminds me of Breaking Bad a little bit, but I don't want. It's kind of creepy to me a little bit. But those are the three I like. Overall, the collection, I just I feel like it's it's. I mean, they just took stuff and copy and pasted it on T-shirts and stuff like that. And the stuff they did do, like collages and stuff, is just crazy to me. The all-over print is crazy. I mean, I mean, just anything all over, you know, it's kind of crazy. But at least if it's a good print, it kind of works. But something like all over and crazy. Like, it's it's crazy. I know, that's crazy. Take a shot every time I say crazy in this video. But yeah, I think the collab is cool for the, I think it's 50-50. The t-shirts, the, the crew neck, and the boards. I think they're all cool. I think that's a good collaboration right there. The rest of the stuff, I think is really bad. But that's just my opinion. Don't freak out on me. Let me know what you guys think. I think those boards are definitely the most typed item. But yeah, let me know in the comments, guys, what you think of this collection, and we're just gonna get into the other stuff. So if you're not a fan of this drop, or this collab right now. There's gonna be other stuff dropping with Supreme 
on Thursday tomorrow. So let's just look into like the rumored, mostly confirmed basically stuff that's gonna drop tomorrow. All right, first up, I, you know, I wanna give credit to what site I use to, you know, film this video and stuff like this on my no drop videos. I use SupremeComedy.com. I never talked to anyone over there. I don't know anything about anything over there. I just know the site is cool and it's simple. So I just base all, I show everything from the drop that's on the order of how many people upvoted. It's cool because you can like upvote stuff and it will save it and like you kind of know what items you were feeling that season. So these are just based off like everything that was upvoted the most from most upvoted, most hyped to like least voted or least hyped. First up, and this isn't gonna include any of the Mike Kelly stuff because we already went through that. Um, first up, we got the Supreme AWS Max 700 digital scale. Okay, $36 retail. Pretty pretty um, cheap, actually. I don't know how much the scale is, but $36 in Supreme World is nothing, really. 700, I'm guessing 700 grams max. You know, everyone's talking about how, like, the big, you know, trappers, the pushers, are going to be loving this one. You know, I mean, it's kind of 700 grams. It really isn't that lot. It isn't really that much. I'm sorry, guys. Be bragging about. Well, you think you're a man because you move a key here and there. That ain't weight. Um, that's cool. I mean, I would get it just but i would never really need it like if you're buying jewelry or stuff like that or like or like uh, you know like gold and stuff it's cool to like measure how much your, or weigh how much your stuff weighs but you know, other than that you're gonna use it like once a year i don't know i don't know what i would use it for it's a cool piece though but i'll probably pass on it next up trademark hooded sweatshirt i really it just looks pretty you know simple to me they got some different colors in there but the supreme is just embroidered real tiny you're just basically buying a uh, blank colored hoodie. I like the green one though, I think it's a really cool color. Floral logo tee, like I said in the, my one of my videos, like probably the beginning season preview video, I don't like these premium kind of like t-shirts like this. They're always more and they're just like, basic logos are always on them. And I just don't, you know, for an border t-shirt, you're gonna spend like 80, was it, it's usually like 80 bucks. It's not worth it to me. It's an okay t-shirt. I'm just saying like for the price for me, I don't think it's worth it. Champion label coaches jacket. Got this purple colorway. I am not a fan of them just putting the little tag and just blowing it up on the back of your shirt. Like, I don't get it. It looks lazy. It looks weird. It's like usually that tag that's on the bottom right of like a champion stuff. They just blew it up, put it in the back of the shirt, and they're like, there you go. And hey, on the front, let's just put nothing. Like, right? There's nothing on the front. Like, what? why do you do this? Like, it's it could have been way better, in my opinion, and it looks like it's 50-50 on the hype scale. Reflective small box tee, like I said. Um, I feel like, you know... This, it's just a blank tee, basically. It's reflective, that's different. I have one of these that's this little glued on box logo mini one. I, I don't wear it, because basically it's just like a blank t-shirt, and I feel like the fit's different on these. They're not as fitted, but these are this is all new sizing with Supreme nowadays, so we don't know. At least this one is different from the mini box logos. This one's reflective, that's kind of cool. And I see that actually retail is 60, so not too bad, but still it's a blank t-shirt. Next up, we got this Obama beanie, I mean, Obama for president, that's all it says. You got a bunch of colorways, $32. I really don't need a beanie. Reflective ripstop camp cap. Like if I've said in other videos in the previous video, I feel like the caps, the caps this year, even though they got this one, the Cordura cap on, are really weak that I've seen like in like maybe four years or something. Like usually hats are like, they're always good. I feel like these are really weak. This one, it's okay. It's mediocre to me. Just ripstop reflective cam uh, camp cap, $48 retail. Nothing, you know, insane to me though. I don't need a beanie. I have like three beanies and that's probably way too much for me. I really don't wear beanies, but I really like this beanie, but I'm not gonna buy it. $32 retail, colored speckle beanie. I think that looks really cool. I like the speckles on it. Almost gives like a tweed vibe to it. Leather trucker jacket. Okay, this is a leather trucker jacket in a, a blue, which is like my least favorite color ever. And then red, and black, and it's a leather jacket. You know, it, I don't know. I, I wouldn't get it, especially $500, but I definitely can see someone rocking the black or the red one, looking pretty cool in it. Uh, Gone Shop Vest. I don't know the point of a vest in general, usually, um, and I especially don't know the point of a shop vest, because this thing looks like it's like thin, and I'm guessing, I don't know, it's just for style, basically, because it's, it's not gonna insulate you. Don't, this thing is not gonna insulate you. It's like one t-shirt on top of you. Um, definitely just for style or something like that. Um, I don't like vests, not for me. 148 for something without sleeves is crazy to me, so it's gonna pass on that for sure. Crest, long sleeve top. We got one, two, three, four. We got five colorways, a little tonal crest looking thing. Can't really tell. This kind of looks just like a, like a little, I can't even really tell what that is. Maybe almost like a ship with like little swirls around it or something like that. It's real tonal, like you can't really tell in person. 
$88 estimated retail, definitely not gonna get that, especially a long sleeve, and it's like, like I said, those premium t-shirts, I just feel like they're just a waste for me. Connect, six panel. This is like the least type down of the week, or the least popular at least, like not a lot of people even looked at it. Um, I don't think it's bad, I don't think it's anything spectacular. I'm trying to use more words than just, that's crazy, or something like that. Um, I don't think it's anything bad. I think it's a really simple logo and it looks decent. You know, if you, if you like any of those colorways, I'd say get it, $48 retail. All right guys, that's the Mike Kelly collaboration, a little preview, went over all the items, gave you some estimated retails on the drop for, we're in the third week, right? Yeah, for the third week, we showed you all the drop items and everything, so overall, it's a really heavy Mike Kelly collaboration drop. There's really, I feel like there's not really much other than that that's too exciting. I think it's gonna be the Mike Kelly t-shirt crew neck boards and then the digi scale and everything else is gonna be like no one gives a shit really the coach's jacket probably like in the runner-up position but kind of a slow drop week but definitely gonna go for those mike kelly boards definitely might go for the mike kelly t-shirt other than that i don't really want anything but let me know what you guys think of this drop we think of the mike kelly collaboration because i think it's okay i don't i think the stuff they did some of the stuff they did that is bad is like like the worst shit i've ever seen in my life from supreme especially but some of the stuff they did, other stuff they did is cool, and I'm happy they do the artist collaborations. So I'm glad, you know, even if they do a bad artist collaboration, I'm at least glad they tried or did something different from everyone else. So I appreciate the artist collaborations. I like them. I like I've said forever, just give us more artist decks, and I feel like they're listening. They're giving us a lot of artist decks. So happy with the collaboration, the stuff that I do like. It's pretty cool and different, unique. So happy about that. Not going to completely trash the collab. So I'm glad they did it. Um, the drop other than that and the digi scale is pretty weak though. But like I said, thanks guys for watching. Let me know what you guys thought of the drop, the collaboration. And um, stay tuned for my Nike, um, the Nike Gatos shoe. Uh, I picked that up last week in black and gum. I'm going to do a review on that shoe. I think I get it today, so I'll do it Friday. All my videos always come out Friday around like 9 p.m. Eastern, 10 p.m. Eastern. So check that video out in a few days. Um, follow me on Instagram if you want, Mike.Kilroy. I've been selling a lot of stuff in my story for really good deals. So check that out from time to time. And I appreciate the support as always, Cypher USA, and thank you guys for watching. And, you know, let me know what you guys think of this drop. Appreciate it. See you guys next time. Alright guys, and that's the Mike Killick. Mike, fucking dumbass.